Okay, YouTube, we're just going to dive straight into it. Welcome back. This is a new series called Vapor Flop, where I'll test new food items and see if it's a Vapor or Flop. The way I break it down is I break it down by looks, taste, quality, and what else? Mine is really bad. I'll rate it, what I buy it again, what I recommended, things of that nature. But anyways, so what we have right here is a limited edition. Uh, it says new color change in effect. So I guess once you eat it, oh yeah, right there. So it's two different colors. I actually like this color. So if they would sell it like just like this, I think I would actually get it. Uh, Takis Scorpion Barbecue. Barbecue Artificial Flavor. And Takis Volcano Queso. I like this one more. I feel like out of anything, I like this because I don't really care too much for barbecue. Okay, so we're just gonna dive straight into it. So, so got them open. So I guess what we're gonna try first is the scorpion barbecue because it is the one that I'm more going towards than this one. Nothing wrong with this one, but this one I just feels as if it has that that. New tattoo. So, well, it's not adjusting, but I'm pretty sure I know what a taki looks like because it looks like an average taki. It has a uh, what is it? Those twist Fritos, the the barbecue, the honey barbecue. This Fritos that's like twisted, it smells exactly like that. Like a spot on, spot on smell. It smells good. So I guess we'll just go straight for the taste test. Uh, let's see the color change. So I licked it. Well, again, I adjusted it. And it's not a strong color difference. If anything, it just looks really weird. I, it's reminded me of mold. I know, it seems like the more and more you wait, the more bluer, I guess, this color is supposed to be. Yeah, supposed to be blue. Is it supposed to be? But, okay. I mean, when I lift it, it just tastes like honey barbecue. But, let me eat it. I mean... Like I said before, it just tastes like those, uh, the Honey Barbecue Frito Twists. It's spot on. Like, if they were in competition, the other chips would win, but this is a good runner up. This one is really good. Um, but I go home and tell my mom about it. I'll tell her that, like, you know, I tried them. Would I enter a contest if Takis was giving away this for free and all I had to do was write, like, a page paper explaining why I like them? Um, I would probably read the terms and conditions, but I won't actually, like, you know, participate in it. Um, the way it tastes, normal Taki, like, you know, you got the little corn bits left in your mouth, just a normal fucking Taki. Um, would I make a review about it? So, I would either make... No, the options are would I make a Google review or would I make a Yelp review? A Yelp review, you know, um, you have to make an account, you have to download the app, you have to do all of that for that Yelp review. In a Google review, you can just make a review. I'll make a Google review, like, so I don't have to actually make an account or nothing like that. So, I would do that. Uh, what would I rate it out of 10? I'll give it, I don't know. 6.5 due to the fact I expected a little bit more like when you say when you see a scorpion barbecue you expecting that that spice to hit you and then you have a picture of a looks like a flaming scorpion or whatever like that but it's not hot it's just barbecue so I guess the name is pretty misleading but I guess that's just for effect not really effect but like you know just design so would I would I get this again um more than likely not. 
if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Probably not. I'll probably look at them like, oh, I've had those before, but then just walk right past it. And they usually release like some good uh, flavors. I know it's one cheese when I really like them, like, you know, the regular purple back one, things like Fuego or something like that. But anyway, so 615 is decent. What about it again? Will not. What I make a review about it? A Google review. And even then, I still probably wouldn't even make a review. It was just regular barbecue chips. Misleading name, because when I see scorpion, I expect spice, but there wasn't no spice. But anyways, so, on to this. Here we are. I don't know what I'm actually looking forward to. Volcano queso. Like, already, I'm expecting a cheese flavor. And volcano, volcano is hot. Boiling up even. So, habanero pepper cheese flavor. But I'm being very biased about this, but I've never had these. But just visually, this is the one that I was ready for. So, just my phone. Um, looks like a normal. I forgot what the other flavor was, but it was like mainly a cheese one. It looks very similar to that one. So let's dive into it. I won't take too long, just to see the color change. This is green. Other one was blue, but it seems like they both have the same hint. Yep, green. But just from that little lick, I mean, I really literally see half the bitches lick. Just from that little taste, like, I taste the spice instantly. Apart from this where it was just barbecue and no spice whatsoever. So this already, I'm liking already. So... It's good. Like, if they would actually sell this seasoning on the side, I think I'll buy the seasoning. Like, you know, just put on some fries or I'll add to a burger or something like that. So, I'm finna try it now. Okay. So, like I said before, I'm glad I got this one because it tastes like, um... I bet sick. That's that fucking spice. Them sick too. So, two times thing. Already, I knew this was gonna be good because I like cheese and I like spice. So, visually, just looking at the bag, I was more towards this one anyway because I guess it's just a bright color and I'm not really fans of really darker colors. So, it's not a strong cheese taste, but you know the cheese is there. So, no issue with that. Uh, the only misleading thing, which isn't really a big deal, but just something to point out, which you can actually tell. They have two different strong colors. I'm guessing that's just for the picture visual, just to show off that it can be two different colors. So, one, it's not that green, and this is not that blue. But, that doesn't really matter, honestly. But this, would I go home and tell my mom about it? Yes, I'll say that I had some uh, some new tacos. They just released it, like, you know, you should try it, some such like that. What I make a review about it, um, I'll make a Google review because it's not that, no, it's good, but it's not the point where like, oh my God, I need to buy all of this so I can have it all in my room piled high to the ceiling. No, no, not at all. No, it is not like that whatsoever. But it is good, do not get me wrong. If Takis was to, like, you know, have a contest and, like, you know, write a paper or whatever, the same thing for this one, but it was, this was one of the prizes. I'll write the paper, but I'll try to half ass the paper just so I'm in that selection pool, but I'm not pouring my heart out into it, if that makes any sense. Um, what would I rate it? I would rate this. I give it an eight. No, yeah, I, I would give it an eight because it lived up to my expectations. The name is correct, Volcano Queso. Maybe when I read the Scorpion Barbecue, how I think I know me as a consumer, when I see Scorpion and then the flame-looking Scorpion, I would assume spice, but clearly that was not the case. But with this one, they showed the Volcano Queso, so I can know spice cheese. 
and habanero pepper and all that. I mean, should have read this. It just says barbecue, so I don't really know. Anyway, just the name alone. But it's good. I honestly recommend this one. So if it wasn't conscious of which one I actually like and would actually buy again, it would be this one. I would look at this one and be like, oh, I've had that before. But I would more than likely get this one again. But in the rating of about the flop. You know, we're gonna look together. I find both of them about due to the fact it was not nasty, it was not nasty whatsoever. And this one is a sweet barbecue. And like I said, it's very similar to the uh, Twist Fritos. And I really do like those chips. And this is a good runner up to that. And this one, due to the fact it's that heavy cheese and then spice right after that. So it's really good. So, anyways, so in total, everything's about. What I buy again? Not this one, but I will buy this one again. Do I need something to drink after eating this one? Not really, but you may hear me sniffing because my nose is just running. But anyways, that's really it. Thank you for watching this video, and I will see you on the next episode of Bopper Flop.